Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shabby, Chris Singleton with you. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Eggy Rosario leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gaps. He'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. All right. We'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill today, Tommy Henry. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Stepping in for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. The wind and the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Marte throws the first in time. One out in the top of the first. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. The other way. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Jake Cronenworth in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs, base is empty. Ball one there. Soft contact in the air. That gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Runner at first with two away. Here's Manny Machado now. And that one is inside ball one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Moreno drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Diego. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the desert. And on the mound now, Matt Waldron. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Foul ball there. Now the 0-1. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. 
And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Well, he got her swinging with the knuckleball there, and I feel this hitter's pain, Boog. I just have nightmares about the times that I had to face Tim Wakefield. Not good numbers, and if my career was based off of that, I would have been in AAA. Lourdes Goriel Jr., batting with one down, takes a strike. One down, base is empty. Fouled off down the right side. And a pitch. Stays alive. To third, Machado. And there are two down. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lovello. Here's Cattell Marte. And it's fouled away. There's the strike. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Profar pulls that one down. That is the inning. Scoreless after one. Back here at Chase Field, new inning getting started. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Bogarts measures six feet two inches, 31 years old, and he was born in Aruba. Pulls that one foul. And here comes. Well. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Gone! A solo shot and they grab the lead. It's 1 0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So digging in, Ha Sung Kim. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. One away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Eggy Rosario, the next up for the Padres. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. That one hammered, but pulled foul. One down, base is empty. And that's, that's in the ball. dirt. One ball, two straight. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that's pretty much the dream two strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top hey. of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound.
kicks and deals. That Whoa, one outside. One and one. Two outs. Struck him out looking. Frozen with a backdoor slider. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the second. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Next offering is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. In the air, left side. Profar sizes this one up. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Patty, good. On third baseman. Hey, hey Eugenio on. Suarez up to the plate now. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Swings through that one for strike two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with knuckleballers and not give it to that pitch that's going to dart out of the zone at the very last moment. But that was about as pitiful as knuckleballs can get, and he was frozen. Randall Gritchick in the box now. No balls in a strike. The Padres up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. That one's in there, and the count is 0-2. That one is upstairs. And the pitch. Now Gritchick swinging at a high fly ball. Deep left field. That one hops against the fence. And now the tying run is into scoring position. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Man at second here with two away. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Fouled off. He was late. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. So now one and two. One ball, two straight. Oh no, he dropped it. Okay. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. This is Corbin Carroll. And a base hit. 
In comes the runner from third. It's 1-1. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So first and second with two outs. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Late on that fastball. 0-1. Two on, two outs. Slap the other way, foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. And yeah, that's too high. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two ball, two strikes. Just misses there. Blaze Alexander getting on deck circle. Goes down looking. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even now at 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. As the lefty gets to work. Well struck left field. Back there. And in one hops the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay, not going to get him. He's in there. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Now batting Jerickson Profar. First pitch, and he just misses. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And another ball. Now three and O. Oh. Fernando Tatis Jr. up next. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. And it's second. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Grounder might be two. Quick feed to second for one. How about that double play? As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. 
Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. One for one with a single so far. Best ball for a strike. It's 0 1. Two outs. That's towards center. Carroll moving under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Padres leave one. Score remains tied 1 1. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the DH, Blaze Alexander. Waldron back to work. Ball inside. Righty delivers. Just missed. Flips the corner. It's two and two. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Higashioka makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, left Here's Lourdes Gurriel yeah. Jr. Grounded out his first time. And the righty deals. Takes the outside corner and a count one and one. A little out front there as he swings through it. All tied up here in the last half of the third. Got him swinging. And there's two away. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. And there's a foul ball. And he'll one. One and one. And now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Man in scoring position with two away. And now it's Christian Walker. Fly to left his first time. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time. He keeps his composure. They get the out. One left for Arizona. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. John Choppy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Manny Machado. The pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here comes Sander Bogarts. He's already homered in this game. Just missed.
And now the lefty. That one hit to right. Grichik on the run. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. The shortstop takes the ball. With the go-ahead run at first, top half of inning number four. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. Ripped on a line. Squeezes it. So digging in now for San Diego, Eggy Rosario. He's 0 for 1. That's down and in. Machado leads off first with two down to the inning. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Two outs. Now fly ball to right center. Sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. One left for San Diego. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the fourth. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. The right-hander back to work. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's to third. Machado. Throws across the diamond. Lead-off hitter retired in the fourth. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Randall Gritchick now. One for one with a double and a run score. Right through there for a strike. Fall off foul. Already two gone here in the home four. Man, that thing just barely got the zone, so you almost can't blame the guy for laying off. I mean, with the way knuckleballs dart all over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold off and hope it dances out of the zone. Moreno at the plate and takes high there. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, one strike. Out to short. Kim. On to first. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Diamondbacks down quickly. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Back 
here in the desert. And now the center fielder, Jose Azokar. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball right side. Marte throws the first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres, doubled his first time up. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. Ball one. Ball one straight. And he deals. Down the line. Into the corner, but foul. The one two. That one drifts inside. In the air, out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. So the batting order turns over. Jerks and Profar, the next up for the Padres. And that one missing low. And that skips in the dirt. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. This to center field, Azokar. On the move, he's got it. And a quick out number one. The batter, now up next for Arizona, Kevin Newman. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch misses. On the ground, Kim. In plenty of time to first. That's the second out. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. So two down now, and here is Blaze Alexander. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. That's a new chase after that one. All two is the count. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That's hard hit in the line. Profar makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. We played five full, tied at one aside. Top of the sixth inning, stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Henry back to work. And that one fouled off. Now 
at the belt and fires. Four. Right through there for a strike. And another ball. And a pitch. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. The pitch. This one in the air center field. He's under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. The first base never Making a move at third, coming in as a pinch runner, Tyler Wade. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth, one for two. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking yeah. at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Kicks and deals. On a line. Carroll makes the grab on the run. Safe. He beats the tag. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Machado stands in now, looks at that one inside. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Thompson, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Martinez also throwing. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. And Manny gets a piece. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're at the top half of the sixth. That's ball two. It's a good take. <laughs> and that one is inside. And there's ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Tori Lovello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Tommy Henry out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Brandon Fatt. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. That one missed. Well struck right field. Over the fence for an automatic double. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. So two on with two away. Next for the Padres, Ha Sung Kim. 
And that one fouled off. Right handed reliever. Outside. And that's outside. And now it's even one and one. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. Ball that Just ball. misses with that one. Two, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That Three one misses. Balls. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Two, three, four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Padres two and the Diamondbacks one. So coming into the game now on defense, Tyler Wade. He'll be out in left field. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. See, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. There's a swing and a miss. Well, I think it's the oh, ability it to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And there's a ball. One and one. So the tying run at second. Rips that one to right. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Could tell Marte up to the plate. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And one and two. One ball. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in the bottom of the sixth. And ball another two. ball. Two-two down. That one just misses. Christian Walker to bat next. To left center. Azofa sizes this one up, squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. Rohan, not in time. The run scores. It's 2 2. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Walker That's up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. 
One run across in the frame so far and here in extra innings. Swing and that ball smashed on a line and puts the squeeze on that one and that'll do it. So they scratch across a run on no hits no errors and no one left on. We're through six full. We are tied 2-2. We go to the top of the seventh, and now Eggy Rosario. And a pitch. Man at second. Way out front for strike two. Over two strike. That misses the zone. Now one and two. In the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Jose Azokar, the next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may. Now this one gets through, headed for the plate. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. First nope. offering, and it just misses. Azokar at first, one gone. That's in there. And the count one and one. And oh, another ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Two two now, and that's down and away. And down on strikes, two away. Now just excellent location on that inside fastball, really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now batting Tyler Wade. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Pitch oh, right misses now. outside, and that's ball one. Two outs in there at the knees, and the count is one and one. Righty to the plate. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Robert Suarez. 
I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up. Now the third baseman a Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. Nope. Ball one. In today's game, outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. That misses. Ball two. In the air, out towards right center. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Man, you have to be sure if you're tagging from second base that you're going to move up to third with no problem. And I know he wasn't out by very much, and it took a great throw to get him, but you're already in scoring position, so it's just a foolish decision to try and push it there. Diamondbacks down to their final out. Randall Gritchick stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And there's the strike. 0-1. Two down, nobody on. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. The pitch. That one to first. Cronenworth steps on the bag himself. Ball game. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.